cohesiveness as a Ghanaian people and our resolve as one nation can achieve, irrespective of our partisan political differences. This project that has been commissioned here predates His Excellency the President, but this is one sterling example of how governance as a continuum benefits the ordinary Ghanaian people. Mr. President, it is on record that since you assume office as the President of the Republic of Ghana, your investment in the railway sector within these few six years far outweigh all the collective investment in the railway sector in the past 16 years. This railway project crossing the River Volta is one of the first of its kind in West Africa. I want to say a very big thank for your innovation. We are met here today to commission this very important road bridge, the Afenia Road Over Bridge Project which has been constructed as part of the new 97.7 kilometer standard gauge railway line from Tema to Mpakada. The project, a brainchild of the first MPP government of 2001 to 2009, when the highly respected Christopher Amiyao Akunfi was Minister for Ports, Harbors and Railways was conceived to create a multimodal transportation network involving road, rail, and lake transportation, which will facilitate the haulage of cargo and the movement of people from the southern part of the country to the northern sector through a mix of intermodal transport systems. Currently, the transportation of domestic freight and transit freight between Accra, Tema, and northern Ghana, and further to Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger, is essentially road-based via Kumase, Tamale, Bogatanga, Navrongo, and Paga. This over-dependency on our road network coupled with the lack of other transport alternatives, particularly between Accra and Kumasi, has resulted in congestion, rapid deterioration of roads, and increases in road accidents. The project will address the imbalance between transport modes for long distance transit and domestic freight movements from Accra Tema northwards and vice versa using the Volta Lake transport system. In particular, existing port operations in the Tema port will be improved, resulting in reduced vessel waiting, waiting time, container dwelling time, which will improve the competitiveness of the port, as well as lead to reduction in freight transport costs and enhance safety. Transporting freight and transit cargo via the lake transport system reduce cost of shipment and by extension reduce the cost of doing business in Ghana. Not only will it increase transit cargo volume through the lake, but will also expand domestic shipments to and from the lake and will serve as a boost for agricultural enterprises within the environs of the lake. The Tema Makbadan Bwipe Multimodal Transport Project, when successfully completed and operationalized, will link the Tema port to the lake transport network, especially the north south movement over a distance of some 400 kilometers, and open up the lake to the transportation of not only fuel and cement, but also containerized cargo and agricultural produce from the northern enclave in Afran Plains to the port of Tema and other destinations. Other economic benefits of the project include, one, reduction of pressure on the road network, including the eastern corridor roads which are under vigorous construction, thereby reducing their early deterioration and increasing their service life span. Two, minimization of the cost of transportation of bulk commodities, 
containers and agricultural produce to the ports and other destinations. Three, provision of affordable, reliable, and alternative means of transport for passengers who are not served by the road transport system along the corridor. And four, construction, operation, and maintenance works of the railway infrastructure, which will provide direct and indirect employment to a significant number of Ghanaians. Ladies and gentlemen, this ceremony is part of a series of infrastructural projects lined up in the railway sector to develop and extend railway service across the length and breadth of the country. I want to reaffirm my commitment and determination to provide an enabling environment and support for the development of a modern railway system that will not only benefit the present generation, but also generations yet on board. Before I conclude, I want to put on record that in the last five years of my administration, more construction activity in the railway sector has gone on than in any period since independence. We've laid a solid foundation which will receive an even greater impetus by the end of my tenure in 2025. My commitment to the development of a new modern standard railway network is unwavering. Accordingly, ladies and gentlemen, it is my singular honor and pleasure to declare the Afenia Road Over Bridge duly commissioned.